What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald and I'm so excited for today's video because as you can tell from the title of today's video, we are testing out Bondi Sands Mousse Self Tanner in the shade Dark. Oh my gosh, I've heard so many good things about this self tanner. I had so many DMs on Instagram after I shared their skincare line a couple videos to test out their tanner and give you guys feedback. And I do have like a ride or die self tanner that I will be comparing this to, which is the Tarte to our Brazilian self tanner. I have raved about this self tanner for over a year now. It's been my go-to. This tanner is the reason I did not go to one tanning salon in 2021 because it was just gorgeous it was easier it was more cost efficient like there was no reason for me to go so i fell in love with this i have also low-key really been looking forward to this video because my skin has not seen the light of day in far too long so we are pasty on this side of the camera so i need a tan by the way this video is not sponsored by bondi sands it is not sponsored by tarte these are my true honest thoughts on both items. I paid for both of these products. Also, I will link them both in the description box below. And then I'm also gonna talk about face tanning, so don't you worry um, how I like to tan my face. But let's get into this video, talk about the product, see how well this tanner works, and hopefully we have a gorgeous tan at the end of this video. <laughs> All right, the hair is up and I wanted to talk really quickly if you are brand new to tanning and you have no idea how to do it at home, just explain what you need to do before you tan. So you just need to exfoliate your entire body and make sure it is clean, make sure you have no moisturizers or deodorant on. That's gonna allow a tan to stick to your skin the best and then last as long as possible. You can moisturize and put oil on your skin and do all of that good stuff after your self tanner, but if you do it beforehand, your self tanners just kind of gonna slide right off. So just make sure you are freshly shaved or waxed or whatever you do and you put nothing on your body before you self tan. So briefly to talk about the Bondi Sands, I pulled their website up. So it's 6.76 fluid ounces, you can't travel with it, but they do have a travel size self tanner, which is great. I travel a lot, so I always like to highlight the size of things so that if you travel a lot, you know whether you can or can't bring it. Um, it retails for $24, which is less than the Tarte Tanner for sure. I think this one's like $28, I think. It goes on sale quite a bit, so I usually buy it on sale, so I've never bought it for like $28. I think that's how much it costs. It's been a minute since I bought this one, um, but I do know it's more than this one. It's 7.1 fluid ounces, so it's like a hair bigger than the Bondi Sands one, not that much of a difference and then i did get the dark color so this has medium light is like one shade and then dark is another shade and then ultra dark i'm typically like an ultra dark kind of gal but since i've never used this product before you can tell that like literally the shiny packaging is still on i should probably take that off um since i haven't used it before i uh wanted to see how this color looked on my skin before i went and got like the darkest color they offer because every now and then i mean you don't want to look too dark this is also supposed to be coconut scented oh i haven't even like pressed anything out of here yet it smells amazing oh my god okay oh i love the scent of that one the um, brazilian self tanner is scentless so instructions it says step one for an easy streak free tan ensure your skin is clean and exfoliated step two pump foam applicator firmly and apply bondi self tanning foam liberally to a tanning mitt before using a long sweeping motion to legs arms body use remaining residue on tanning mitt for face elbows and knees oh okay so a couple things in step two so a i hate using um like a tanning mitt they just Every single self tanner I've used, it gives me a streak, even when it's a streak free product. It's never the tanner that messes up my tan. It's the mitt that messes up my tan. So I just have kind of forgone using the tanning mitt. By all means, if you like one, use it. And I did not realize this was meant for your face as well. This Brazilian tanner is not meant for your face. I tested it out one time. I tested it out for you. Don't do it. I broke out so badly, so badly. 
This says it's for the face too. Hmm. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but I will share my other face tanner products that I absolutely adore that give me the perfect tan every single time in case you are interested in just a different face tanner in general. Anyways, back to step three. Step three, skin may be washed after one hour. Wow. For a longer lasting, darker tan, leave foam on skin for up to six hours. Shower with warm water gently, pat skin dry. For the deepest tan, reapply Bondi Sand self-tanning foam 30 minutes after the initial application. So, in other words, after one hour, you're good to touch water and live your life like normal, which is less than this. I thought two hours was incredibly quick. This one's one hour, but for your tan to be as dark as possible, leave it on for six hours at least. I'm of the mindset of Put your tanner on knowing you're gonna go to bed in it so it can have like the whole night to really stick to your skin, be fully dry, just like not move and then shower the next morning. I think that's just the easiest. It ensures your tan is not gonna move and that's just how I like to do it. So that's honestly how I would suggest to do it. And then it says, if I want it to be even darker after I apply a first layer, 30 minutes after, do another layer. I wanted to see how dark one layer is because if it's not dark enough, then we're gonna get the ultra dark to see how that is because I don't wanna use like double the amount of product to get the tan I want. That would be a big downsider for this self tanner. You get what I'm saying? So that's about all we have to chit chat about this. I know we just wanna see if it works. I'm gonna get to the video. Um, also real fast, just quickly before I start putting this on, my face tanners are both cool off. I typically use the Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Serum because there's a lot of vitamins and good things inside of it, but my skin has been so dry lately. If you've watched any of my other skincare type videos, you know that. So I'm actually reaching for my Suntan Anti-Aging Moisturizer. They are literally exactly the same thing. One's just a serum, one's a moisturizer. I would suggest the serum if you have oily skin because this does not bring the oils up at all. This one I have noticed to hydrate a lot more. I mean, it feels like a cream. So you are, at least for me, the oils do rise, but my skin is so dry that I need more moisturizer. So I am reaching for the cream versus the serum today, which is really rare. Typically I would reach for the serum, um, but just to let y'all know, these are awesome. They're 70% organic. They have so many good things inside of them. And most importantly, they give you a stunning tan. This video is also not sponsored by Cool Law. So these are my genuine thoughts. Um, they give a great gradual face tan. You just keep applying every day like you would your regular skincare and they give you a gorgeous glow. They are my go-to. They have been for the past two years. So this is what I'm gonna go in with today for my face. Okay, enough talking. Let's get into testing out the self tanner. So I was thinking I would do like my chest on here with you guys, but since this dries so incredibly fast and I wanna do my whole body, I think I'm gonna go off camera so that I can get nakey nakey and do my whole body fast because as I mentioned with this one, once you start the tart tanner, do not stop because it is such a fast drying tanner that it kind of, it doesn't instantly dry. I don't wanna say you can't like correct it if you've messed up because that's not the case, but it dries really quickly. You don't wanna like put half of this on and then go get a snack and then finish it. You wanna just do your whole body and be done with it. And this starts drying even quicker. So I'm a little fearful. I'm gonna be super splotchy if I do like half of my chest and then go get undressed and like that gap of a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go apply this off camera you guys can see how white I am. So we are gonna notice an instant difference <laughs> with this on. It's gonna be like the same lighting. So I'm actually excited. Like literally instantly you're gonna see, hopefully you're gonna see darker skin. So in two seconds, I should be tanned up. Okay, wow. I literally just finished. I switched tank tops just cause this one was a little bit looser. Um, just little tip if you are new to tanning. You always wanna wear loose clothes so you don't get like marks from your clothing. And the last tank top I had on was like super tight and would have left a little like spaghetti strap line. So I just switched, but oh my God, can we talk about this tan? Look at this tan. So I did do it on my face if you couldn't tell. I just kind of was like, whatever, let's just go for it. Because the formula, the way it was applying onto my skin was 
I don't even know what the words are. It was so smooth. It almost felt like cream, even though it's not cream at all. It's a mousse, but it glided on like a cream. So I felt comfortable, I don't know why, just putting it on my skin. So I'm not going in with these guys, by the way, because I don't want to be any darker than I am now. I feel like I just had an encounter with the sun and I don't need to be any <laughs> darker. And I am so pleased. Like this looks incredibly natural. It already feels dry. I don't feel sticky at all. It's so streak free as well. Like I'll pull one of my shoulders. Like, look at that. It's just, you can't see any marks. I did it all over my neck. I did it on my face. I did it like even back here, you know, all those little spots you want to get everywhere. So it really looks like your skin and my legs look awesome. My feet, I feel like feet are always a really hard spot to not make it look really splotchy. The feet are looking great. My legs are really like streak free. The only thing, and this is just to note, um, because it does dry so fast. I'm really glad by the way that I got naked and did it off camera versus like did my chest and then got undressed because I did like a long pump like this across my thigh. And then I did a long pump across my shin. And just that like pause of like pumping in other areas. I have like a line on my thigh just because it already started drying and which I kind of predicted it would just based off of other mousses I've tried. They're all really similar in that aspect, um, which is good. It means, you know, it's not gonna come off and it's not gonna have that like wet sticky feeling, but it just means you have to be mindful and just start blending as soon as you put it on your skin. Um, I did it with no mitt, like I said, just cause I'm not the biggest fan of mitts and perfectly streak free. I'm sure it would be great with a mitt if you are more of a mitt using person. And then I am really happy. I feel like my face is darker than the rest of my body. I feel like your face always holds the pigment more than the rest of your body. So um, that was pretty much expected. But I will note, I don't know if I was just so pale prior to using this that I haven't like gradually built up my tolerance of how dark I would wanna be, but I would not wanna put on another layer. This is super dark for me in my opinion. And then ultra dark, Ooh, I don't even know if I'd want to go ultra dark because you still want it to look a little bit natural. Plus, if you're going on vacation and you're going in the summer, you're going to get a little bit of a natural tan. So you don't want to just look like bizarre or like you overdid it with the self tanner. So I personally would not add that second layer after 30 minutes. Obviously, it's up to you. And based off of your original uh, skin color, it's totally up to you. So all in all, our thoughts are, wow. We are happy, I'm a happy customer. I love this. It smells really fresh, like light coconutty. I really can't wait to go out of town. We're going back to California. Um, actually, I'm posting this on Friday. Today, the day I'm posting this, we are on our way to California. So I'm pretty sure it's a little bit warmer there and I'm really excited to have a tan going to California. I'm ready to go to the beach. I'm ready to show off my skin now that it has some color brought to it. Okay, the worst part of the video I knew was gonna be um, having to choose between Bondi Sands and ugh, the Tarte Brazilians. Two Hour Express Self Tanner. Gosh, I don't know. I feel like I'm cheating on Tarte, but I think I like the Bondi Sands a little bit better. I say that so lightly because I still love this self tanner. Like if you get it or if you want to try it, I would say 1 million percent try it because this is such a good self tanner. But I think, I don't know, right now, just maybe it's the lighting. I'm liking this can a little bit better and the application on this was so easy and smooth and I just love that there's no streaks, like period. Like just no streaks, it looks really natural. Um, so I would highly, highly, highly suggest if you're looking for a self tanner this spring and summer, you check out the Bondi Sands Shade Dark Self Tanning Foam. I love the way it looks. I will continue to use this all summer long. I will link it in the description box down below if you are interested in checking out. I also recently just did a review on their brand new skincare line that just launched a couple months ago like two or three videos ago. So I'll go ahead and link that and those skincare products in the description box as well. Bondi Sands is really like doing the most for us right now. I'm very happy. This is this is a great product. So highly suggested. We had a very successful video. I am so glad this tan did not turn out badly just because I am going out of town for an important work trip in a couple of days. Lastly, one thing I did want to highlight, this does not say anywhere that this is a gradual tan. It says it's like, 
what it is is what it is so this is i believe how dark it's supposed to get if for some reason it's like noon right now yeah for some reason i get to like eight o'clock at night and i am like 10 shades darker i will hop on and let you all know but this should not change color this is like how it's supposed to look it may get a little darker within the hour but since you can shower after an hour i don't think it would get darker beyond that so just so you know, this is like the actual color. It's not gonna get darker afterwards. So if you want it darker, either add more of this or get the ultra dark, cause I think I forgot to note, this is not a gradual self tanner. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad we had a successful video. Love this product, would definitely suggest it. Great price point, um, good amount of product. This I probably used, I don't know, I would say down to here. So I'll get a good, seven or eight uses out of this which is great you do not need a self tan but more than once a week max and that's if you like really are faithful with it i realistically probably self tan max like twice a month so this pretty much lasts me all summer long which is great you don't need to like be rebuying it all the time and it's only 24 dollars. so i hope this video was helpful if you were interested to know how the bondi sands tanning mousse worked definitely gets a thumbs up here would highly suggest and thanks so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below but other than that i will see you in next week's video